Hi folks, welcome back to our video tutorials. In this tutorial we're talking about the uh, full screen carousel and we'll show you how to replace the background image. Let's take a look at this in our demo site to start with. Here is our full screen carousel and the image you see in the background, you can replace that. Now when replacing the image, I strongly suggest that you keep the exact same image size that's used in the template. So let's first of all determine what the default image size is. So when you go to create your replacement image, you can create it at the same size. So jumping into Dreamweaver, if we open up the uh, full screen carousel LBI library file, library, sliders, full screen carousel, and the LBI page, and switch it into design view. You'll see that the first image is displayed at the top of the page, followed by the headline, the paragraph, and the button text. To determine an image size, just simply double click on the image on the page. That will open up the select image source window. Over here on the right hand side, it will tell you the size of your image, 1500 by 550 pixels. So that's the size of the image that you're going to want to create as a replacement image. This image will be scaled up and down to fit into the uh, web browser's available space. The reason we have it set to 500 is it can scale up fairly nicely from there to 1900 even, uh, maybe even a little bit further. And it can also scale down nicely. It's a good midpoint for large monitors as well as for tablets. Having something too small, such as 900 pixels wide, it's not going to look very good on larger desktop monitors because the idea behind the carousel is that the, it takes up the full width of the page and it gives it a nice effect that way. So with that said and done, create your replacement image at 1500 by 500 pixels. Once you've done that, import it into your library, sliders, full screen carousel, and the images folder. Okay, as an example, we have slide one, two, and three. If you want to make your life easy, you would just simply rename your replacement images the exact same as the images that are already in the folder. For example, if you wanted to replace the first image in the series, you would simply rename your image as slide hyphen zero one JPEG, drop it into the images folder, it would overwrite the existing image, and that's all the work you would have to do. Right, so let me move into my window here a folder that I've created and I've put some images in here. I've already sized them so if I take a look at my image size here it tells me it's 1500 by 550. Perfect. Now as the first option I would just simply rename the picture to match. I would just drag and drop it over here. You're gonna get the overwrite message from Dreamweaver. There we go. Do you want to overwrite it? You say yes and then eventually this picture is gonna flip over and show you the right one. So if we scroll up and down code to design. There we go. Just have to give it a little kick in the backside to get things moving. Right, so that's the simplest way to change a picture. But what if you have a different image name or what when we get to the situation of having adding more pictures or adding more slides, we'll have to change the image name anyway. So here's option number two. We're going to drag the remaining five pictures in. There we go. And all you need to do to change a picture is just double click on the existing picture. So we'll go down to the second one in the row here. We'll double click on that to open up the select image source. We'll locate our images folder. Now by default it's going to go to the last folder you were looking at. I'm just going to go back to the website because if you haven't used that tool before this is probably where it will default to. So starting at the library folder we'll go into the sliders, full screen carousel, and images. And there's the picture I want to use. I'm going to select it, press OK, and that's it. The picture's changed. I'm going to continue the process to change the rest of my pictures. And that's all you re really need to do because Dreamweaver already supplies some great tools for updating the pictures in your pages as it is.